365 days. 365 messages God has in story for you in each day. Happy Sabbath and God bless you. Today is January 8, 2022. And the devotional reading for today, Child Going Deeper. Reading by Vanessa Pisuta. I am so glad you called on us today. But before of beginning, we come to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your care and thank you for your mercy and love. We ask that this devotional be a blessing for each one of us. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Years ago, I took a creative writing class at the University of Hertfordshire, England. I enjoyed the class, except for one detail. At the beginning of each class, our professor lied to us us. What kind of story we were going to write, and how it would end. I never knew what to say. How would I know how a story was going to end before even beginning to write it? A story is like a river. It makes its way as it flows. As Madeline N. writes in Walking on Water, there is a similarity between writing a story and knowing Jesus. The novel we sit down to write and the one we end up writing may be very different. Just as the Jesus we grasp and the Jesus who grabs as might also differ. Our relationship with Jesus is like a river. It grows and becomes greater as it flows. God is bigger than what we can imagine or grasp. Following Him into being willing to learn wrong and restrictive ideas. As did the disciples on their way to Emmaus. If there is something we can be sure of, it's that our story will end up being the way we thought it would be. Jesus transcends the theological concept we feel comfortable with. Our musical preferences, our common sense. If following Jesus does not challenge you intellectually, emotionally, and socially, then something is wrong. Either you are following him from the shore without delving into his goodness, or you are following someone else, a false messiah, an idol. As Anne Lamo writes in Beer by Beer, you can be sure you that have a created God in your own image when it turns out that God hates the same people you hate? If God always agrees with all your opinions, then something is wrong. I still remember that when I was learning how to swim, my mom would stand in the deep and urging me to jump in. She would move a little further back every time, forcing me to go further in where I could no longer touch the button. In this adventure of faith called life, God called us from the deep end, inviting us to go in deeper, forcing us to depend on His wisdom and not the tips of our toes. God promised that He will always be by our side. If we allow Him to, he will write a much better story than the one we could image. Lord, I trust in you and know in my own understanding. Today I am willing to go in deeper, to go further in than yesterday, because I know you are with me.